Hello students, um, today I'm going to be working out a question under indices, but I'm going to be using some matrix to actually solve this question. And don't forget it's an Olympiad question, so um, we need the tricks. Now let's start. Solution. Now when we check this question, it is actually uh, 35 raised to the power 75 all over 175 raised to the power 25 okay the same thing all right now do you know that if we decide to use um, some of the laws of indices or we want to use the laws of indices we are going to have issues because of how the question is being presented hence we need to improvise we need to bring out some tricks to actually solve this question now do you know that there is a relationship between 175 and 35 yep why because 5 times 35 gives me 175 then i will now come down here to say this is 35 raised to the power 75 then where I have 175, instead of that, I will have 5 times 35, okay, or the power 25. Now, it is looking like something that I can actually apply one of the laws of indices, okay, okay. This law, just check out this law now. Do you know if I have A, B, C, all the power N? It is the same thing as A raised to the power N, B raised to the power N, and C raised to the power N. Alright? Now, since we know this, then this will become 35 raised to the power 75 all over. Now, instead of having this, I'm going to have 5 raised to the power 25 times 35 raised to the power 25. Alright? Now, I will now move this out so that I can have 1 all over 5 raised to the power 25 times 35 raised to the power 75 all over 35 raised to the power 25. Now, if you check, it is now very okay that we can use one of the laws of indices, all right? Now, since the bases are the same, being 35, 35, then I can apply the law where if I have x raised to the power n divided by x raised to the power m, it becomes x raised to the power n minus m. Okay, so I'm going to apply that law here. So I have my 1 over 5 raised to the power 25, but this will now become times, just watch, this is going to be 35, all right, raised to the power 75 minus 25. So I'm going to have 1 over 5 raised to the power 25 times, I'm going to have now 35 or raised to the power 50, which I can write as 35 raised to the power 50 all over. 5 raised to the power 25. Now, but you see, I can actually do some other things to work it, to work it and simplify it. Now, do you know that I can have, if I have, let's say, x raised to the power 6, it can still be written as x raised to the power 3 raised to the power 2. Okay? Why? Because of the law that says if I have x raised to the power n raised to the power m, it is sent as x raised to the power n times m. Now, since I know that, I'm going to play around with this. So I'm going to have 35 raised to the power instead of 50. Why not let me have 25 times 2? Okay, all over 5 raised to the power 25. Now, this is what I'm going to have. I will have uh, 35 raised to the power 2 then I will now take 25 out which is the same thing 
all over 5 raised to power 25. Now, do you know that this can be uh, written as 35 raised to power 2 all over 5? Then everything, all right, is raised to power 25. Why? Because they have the same power of 25 and 25. All right. So here we are, I'm going to have 35. Okay. Times 35. All over 5. Okay. All raised to power 25. Then 5 here, 1. 5 here, 7. So. I'm left with 7 times 35 all raised to power 25. And this can be, okay, 7 times 35. 7 times 5 is uh, 35. So I'm going to have 5 carried my 3. Then this is going to be 2, 4. So this is raised to power 25. Now you can see that I've succeeded in simplifying the whole work to just this all right so this is how to simplify this don't forget uh, to like the video don't forget to subscribe i have plenty of very important uh math videos with special tricks so please subscribe to get the full package